You know what? This, this is bullshit. This is bullshit! bullshit! Big Sean is revealing that he would have never made his song, I Don't Bleep With You, had he known ex-fiancee Naya Rivera would die so tragically. The rapper opens up about Rivera's death and a song which has long been associated with their 2014 breakup. He says it's tough for him to say if he regrets making the song because he is still processing a lot. He does say that he doesn't like talking about it because he wants to respect Rivera, but adds that the song wasn't a diss to her and shares that he played the song for Rivera and she liked it. The couple started dating in 2013 before getting engaged in October of that year. He broke off the engagement by April of 2014 and said at the time that it was a difficult decision. In this latest interview, he says, we were young and we forgave each other and moved on. Rivera accidentally drowned in July while swimming with her four-year-old son Josie at Lake Piru in California. Her body was recovered from the lake on July 13th, five days after she went missing. A few days after her death was confirmed, Big Sean shared a touching tribute to Rivera on Instagram. He posted this picture and shared that he was in shock and grieving. He also thanked Rivera for, quote, blessing us all with your talent and presence and called her a hero.
the story. We talked about it off the air. Can you tell the story about your first date, how she bossed up on you on that oh, move? Uh, we was at Dominic's, and she was like, um, you know, we were sitting talking about a whole bunch of things. And she was like, you live in L.A.? I'm like, yeah, you know, I got a place, you know, over wherever, wherever I was at. And she was like, oh, you don't have a house? Like, what? Like, she's basically kind of like, what are you doing? Like, you're throwing your money away. Because I was paying, I was paying like 5000 a month on rent. Yeah. And it was just kind of like stupid. She was like, what are you, t- that's like my mortgage is like that. Well, you're, you're being retarded, you know, like, get a house, man. Like, quit being like a dickhead. So it was like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, she's bossing up on me heavy. But, you know, sure enough, when I went to go look at the house I bought now, she was with me. Oh my gosh, she was, and she like was like, this down. Like, Are you letting her decorate? <laughs> no, my, my mom was decorating. She's taking a long time to yeah, yeah. slowly. The crib needs a woman's touch. Yeah, but um, she she came she came and looked at it with me, and then when we were leaving. She was like, "You better put a down payment on this house. You better go right after this. We can go, we can go look at other houses, but this is the house you need to go." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, I'm sitting there like, okay, 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 cool, all right." Cool. <laughs> you know, I never dated a girl who was popular. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even like trying. We try. I don't think about it like, you know. I don't think like. I never look at it as like I have a popular girlfriend. I just look at it as like I got a girlfriend. You know what I'm sure. saying? And you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm I'm her boyfriend, and we just you know it's never like on no Hollywood type stuff. Or you know, I don't treat her any different because of who she is and she don't treat me any different because who I am you know we just treat each other like we should be treated when you're in a relationship and you love somebody you know so it's, it's, it's awesome man and she respects me you know she always no matter how busy she is she always makes time to be a girlfriend and just like no matter how busy I am I try and be a good boyfriend you know so she'll cook and do all sorts of things for me nice things you know even though I tell her not to and you know I return in and do the same thing so it's, it's a cool thing and um, it's definitely a difference, but you know, uh, it's been a while since I like been this happy in a relationship for sure. Big boy, Big, boy. Yeah. Big Sean, oh and yeah, the man. Oh yeah, Big Sean. We've been doing this for the last couple of days mm-hmm. since Ricky had a chance to sit down with Naya. I love it, mm-hmm. by the way. You know, and I hate <laughs> this on the real. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate the not hate. Hate is such a strong word. <laughs> yeah. But like the Kimyes and the Jayanses and stuff. But everybody got that couple name. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been trying to find one for you. For one, you don't want to be big something because yeah. you don't want to be big Naya, big Naya. You know fat. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, and plus that sounds like a wrestler or something. Yeah. You know, big one of the Vera. big homies from. Yeah. Coming to the big ring. Vera yeah. sounds <laughs> terrible. Um, right, so right, right. we got to get a name yeah, that you're comfortable with. Um, cause, yeah, cause she, Big Vera sounds like Michael. She says her it sounds brother, horrible. Yeah, player. Raider. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you think about. What I you, know you thought you about it. No, I ain't thought about it. What you think? I like because Sh- it's Shia. Well, you, you can't I like say Shia, Shania. but it sounds like Shia, Shia. LaBeouf. Yeah, yeah, what about, what about Shanae? Shanae. You name your kid now. Shania. Shania. And we can't say Shania. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. taken. Um, Shania. 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 And then Shania walked the red carpet. Uh, you know well, people call her Nay. You could say like Nay. No, no, Nay, Nay, Sean. No, that, that yeah. sounds like somebody that. Can come to that the sounds like someone. That sounds like that sounds like the homie little sister. Like Jay, you know Jay Sean, like, don't, be Nate, don't be messing with Nay. Don't be messing with Nay, Sean, no more. <laughs> don't be coming around here messing with Nay, Sean, no more. <laughs> you know who just got out? Homie, <laughs> Nay, Sean. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Nay, Sean. Nay, Sean's probably like they're. Where Nay, Sean at? Where Nay, Sean at? Big. Oh man, we probably just gotta call y'all, Sean. Huh? Baya. Hilarious. What about Nate? What about you? You trying to throw Sean, a name in there because you trying to throw you trying to throw salt. No. You know what I'm saying? No, she no. hates your relationship. I'm gonna tell you straight. She, she, she hates it. She smiles, but she hates it. It hurts her to the core. I really it don't hates hate her it. Too. I love because no. Naya. What stuff? What? I am telling the truth. I love Big Sean, <laughs> but now that I met Naya and I got hey, to dude, meet her, I yeah. love we her. We bring up Naya, and she goes, and then we just tell her. I was, and I said, I said this, I said this a couple days ago. No, on the real. I said, you know what? I said, think about it. I said. He got the girl that he wanted. <laughs> I said, when y'all compare yourselves, I said, it's a yes brainer. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Brainer. It's a yes brainer. Like, you picked the right Come one. On, <laughs> on the real. How, on the real. How hard was it for you to choose Naya over Crystal, though? Extremely easy. He Come told on, me man. how hard it was. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, man, on the you trying to set me up. <laughs> you, you, come on, man. You in the right business, man, because you trying to set and you, me and up. And you ain't got a lie to kick it, man. Like, like, come on. on. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Look, man, you look, you I don't right. know how you work with all these pretty girls. <laughs> you right. Right. Hilarious. Hilarious. I know. Right. We, hilarious. You got, that, you got that ring on, man. Oh, yeah. Keep that much hype. Oh, yeah. You got to see my wife, then you understand. Oh, yeah. that's, that's just like when you come in. You mm-hmm. know you got the baddest one. Yeah. You don't look at her. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's even worse. So let's talk about this blueprint of a woman. You said when you get out of the studio, yeah. like four in the morning, your girl get up, cook you dinner. Yes, for sure. She treats mean, you like a king. A few times. And, yeah. and see, I think that's all a part of like growing in a relationship too. You know, I do stuff for her and she does stuff for me. And she's very understanding. And it, I never really had that understanding being in a relationship from a girl. You know, she understands the hours and she she's always there, man. And... You know, she made me want to be a better person, and she's somebody who's real, like, passionate about what she does, about her career, real career-driven. Um, you know, cool, her, her family, her mom, everybody's great, and, you know, cool with my family, so, you know, it's just something real, something genuine, man, and yeah, I'm she, excited. I, she uh, called your mom and got the recipe for your grandmother's favorite cake. Yeah, yeah. That's thoughtful. Yeah. That's, that's a quality that, like, me as a woman. Yeah, I and I was, like, having a shitty day that day, and she, like, I came to see her, and she just had her right there. Wow. And, you know, it was just, like, things like that. I never had that type of treatment from a girl, ever. Well, you've been with the same girl for a long time, and what happens is, you know, I'm not saying you guys, guys couldn't grow together, mm-hmm. but you kind of learn, like when you have different jobs, mm-hmm. you learn from those different jobs, but if you're at the same job, you kind of get done in it. You get what I'm saying? You yeah. get to a place where you- So you understand. I do understand. Yeah. It's, it's hard, like- Yeah, it is. I've seen a lot of them girls talk shit about me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's like- <laughs> They be like, that nigga sometimes. went in, he's, he went and got him a- I no, I don't really read the comments, but I've been, I go you on your site, little, though, you know, yeah. I've seen a couple of things, man, but, you know, people just don't well, know. Well, yeah, because people, they're going to want the girl that lets you sleep on her couch, you know, they, the, the yeah, regular chick the, that's not in why the don't they want the, Why don't they want the chick that makes me food well, and, like, helps me out? they don't, they don't know that story, yeah. so they just yeah. know from, like... Yeah, that's true, they don't and know that stuff. another thing, I think what it is, is... You're more open with this relationship, like in the public. Like I'm going on the red carpet, and yeah. I'm gonna kiss her on the red carpet. Mm-hmm. And so they they may think, well, why didn't he bring the old girl on the red carpet? Yeah, I, w- I would have, and I did too. Sometimes, you know, it was just things just were falling apart. But like I said, you know, Nia is somebody who cares, and you know, she's into music. She's into like just a lot of things I'm into, and it's just cool when you find a partner. Somebody who relieves your stress and not adds to it. Somebody who, um, you know, makes you want to be a better person. Somebody who makes you want to like, you know, maybe I don't want to smoke this much no more or do this or do like whatever it may be and just makes you want to like clean your act up more and more and be like more of a role model or just a better person and you got to stick with that, period. She's is cool, you know, we learning a lot about each other. Sometimes we have problems just like everybody, but we always work it out. You know, I feel like love conquers all, man. So we just young and 